guys, it's your girl Afrozaviac here. If it's your first time, welcome. If not, thanks for coming back. You guys know I like, love it when you come back. Like, we building the community here. So, today I wanted to like, I'm not really gonna do my makeup because like I'm not really in the zone for that today. But I wanted to talk about the Savage X Fenty fashion show. Yeah, would this be a fashion show? Savage X Fenty Volume 2 show, you know what I mean. Savage X Fenty is like always releasing stuff, so they have their second fashion show, I guess you can call it. And I'm, I'm you know, I got Amazon Prime, so I was like, let me take a little gander, let me take a little peek -sees. And I think it was very, it was cute. Like, I watched it and I was feeling it. Like, the outfits, the music choice, like, it was touching me. Okay, so let me, let me start from the beginning. Like, the... The first part, I'm not gonna lie, when the, let me see if I can see her name, because I don't want to be like the girl in the beginning, because that's very rude. Okay, so it starts with Paris Gobel, Go, Go, Gobel, I'm not, Paris Gobel, I'm not sure who that is, I'm sorry, but she's like dancing, she's like giving very cat sinister vibes, like savage, exactly, savage vibes, so Okay, I wasn't crazy for that part, but it's not its not always for me, you know? But next, you know, they come in with, with Kendrick Lamar. Every second, every minute, you know that she can get it. And it's like, <sighs> in the thundering rain. I felt that. And then you see them start, they start popping, 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 popping. I'm like, oh, that is, that's what type of party this is. I said, okay, Rihanna, okay. It's like... And no, no, just no, just no, just no, just no, just what you want? I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I can do this. That was another thing I loved about the show is the fact that there was. I feel like there was more choreography incorporated into this, this show compared to last year's. Like last year's was like it was all about the fashion, all about like even having celebrities perform their music, which he did this volume, this season. But this one was like, you know, we gonna give y'all that flavor. We gonna give you that um. We gonna give you all that. So I felt it, and I loved it. Next thing she did with this, I was just like, it just killed me. I think they're called mullets, right? They're mullets. I think they're called mullets. Like, basically like Billy Ray Cyrus, business in the front, party in the back, type foolishness. It was like, I wasn't feeling it, but then I saw so many people, and I'm like, okay, it's a vibe. Like, it's like, it's a vibe. Like, Rihanna started with that vibe, and I was like, okay, girl. Like, I, it don't matter what Rihanna put on, I'ma like it. And that's shameful. I'm embarrassed, but I'm gonna I'm like it. And then you see some people like with the giant colors in their hair, the, like the big colors in their hair, but the mullets, the mullets, the, the party in the front, sorry, this is the front party in the back. It's a mood. So if y'all ever seen me come out with a mullet, mind your business, mind your business. Cause I'm gonna look cute. Okay, we already know anything Rihanna creates like makeup, um, skincare, fashion, like regular clothes, lingerie is like inclusivity is like, it's, it's, what is it called? It's the mission. It's, that's the, that's the period, the point. So with that being said, it's like, okay, last year she did not have men's wear. This year we have men's wear. It's like, oh yes, girl. She, so she incorporated a lot of men to the show. And I'm just like, they look, they're killing it. Killing it, all the pop lock and drop it. I love it. It's all the the sachets and all. I live for it. I live for it. The jazz walks. I live for it. It's like Rihanna, please, like girl. When I say I show a show, and I even I haven't even gotten to the music to the point where I wanted. To, like I'm gonna tell y'all. Let me tell y'all which song got me. Cause I I did not expect that to see. I didn't expect to see it in the fashion show. It's when she had Jill Scott. What's it called? It's not, um, it's not, it's obviously not Hear My Call. It's, what's it called? He loves me. I think it's He Loves Me. Yes, He Loves Me. Girl, when she got, she brought that out on that, that, that I don't know. Oh my God, I keep saying that girl. I'm going to figure out her name later. It's another person. When she was just dancing, she was popping in front of the mirror. He love me. Do, 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 it's special. Do, do, lead different. I was like, girl, like, this is touching my soul. Like, I don't know how, has it been 10 years? Is this song 10 years? It's like 11 years old, to my knowledge. 
touched me because this is like from the past. It's just like I, I don't know why this song just hits my soul. Your cologne, do, 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 your hair. Do, do. So I'm like, oh my god, like it's my jam. And I just want well, another thing. Like I'm still in the beginning, like describing majority of the beginning of the fashion show. You'll see like people in fairly the same outfits. So they look in unison, but it's still different body types. So it's still like, it looks different, but it looks the same. And it like, it looks good. Like, it's just like, genius. Like, next, there's Rosalia. Rosalia? Rosalia? Okay. So y'all, I've heard of her, but I'm not really into the, like, into the Spanish slash Latin community when it comes to music that much. I don't know much about it. But some of my friends who are into that type of music, they love her. They die for her. They live for this girl. So it's like, oh, it was it was refreshing, you know, to watch her in the show. I don't go crazy for her. She's not for me. But she she gave what she gave. And then we get to she to the part where she's like, she wants to move that little the nerd song right there. If, the only reason I know these songs is because Amazon's like putting them at the bottom. It's like, thank you for that. So First, it starts with this woman. Let me see. Let me check her name. What's her name? I hope it tells me her name. Her name. She's sexy. Please tell me her name. Oh, it doesn't tell us her name. Okay, so it didn't say the woman's name who's in the middle, of, in the beginning of that whole montage. Like, First of all, girls, again, we, we back with this pop and lock and I live for it. It's like, that's making me feel like this is going to secure, secure the girls. It's going to secure the girls. Okay. We'll look into that. It's just like, all oh, the pop is like, it really fits you. Like, I'm tired of these lingerie, bra, pant, like, they just, they don't care for the, the larger set women. Like, girl, it don't make sense that I'm overflowing, my, my tatas are overflowing in the bra, like, it doesn't, I didn't purchase the bra, especially if I'm paying, like, 40-something dollars, y'all know who I'm talking about, 40-something dollars for a bra, and it's like, or, like, a lip is falling out of the, it's like, it don't make sense, I didn't pay all this money for this to happen, like, watching this, this show, you realize a lot of the effort that is put in not only into the show but like creating these pieces and it's like funny because especially nowadays I see I feel like people are really mad at celebrities when it comes to like these celebrity brands that they create just namely just based off their name and I can truly understand that it's like if you like if you're hopping into the, like the makeup industry for example if you're hopping to the makeup industry and you you have no need to be doing makeup like You've never been known for makeup. Nobody looks and be like, I want that look. You're not a staple in the community. It's like, why? It's like, you can do it, but it's just like, at this point, it's like, it's this, just doing things based off name is just kind of, it's kind of whack, you know? So to see, like, Rihanna is like, is a part, and I believe, I truly believe she has been a part of Savage Expense. It's not just her name. And I say that because, like, she has been in fashion for, like, who knows how long, like, Rihanna is not new to this. Like, y'all see her looks. Like, she she gives it. She gives it. So, she gives it and she gets it. So, when I say that, it's like, it makes sense that maybe one day she's like, I want to make my own. And that she can do it well. Like, she under, like maybe she, not, she might not have the, like, years, decades, centuries worth of knowledge on, like, fabrics or whatever. But it's like, she knows what she wants. She's like, this, I like the way this goes together. This goes with this. This goes with that. Let's see what we can work with. And, like, like let's make it look good. So, I feel like after all the experimenting we've seen her do over the past years, it's like, it makes sense. I truly believe, like, her, her, she, she believes in this. She works, for, like, this is something she, she really cares for. So, like, seeing, like, also... The different types of, I don't want to say scenery, maybe you can say in the show, scenery or like, what is it? Themes, different themes that go on in the show, like I love it. It's like first we got the pop, 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 and then we got the so soft, so soft, and then we got like the glitz and glam of it all, like it's just so cute. And the, like the way the show plays out in the sense of like a story as well is just 
genius. Like, she literally starts, I guess, with the poem in the beginning. And then she talks about, oh, did I ever have a diary? And then you also see the different prints on some of the some of the pieces saying, dear diary or savage love, things like that. And I feel like it just plays into the whole idea of her saying storytelling. And it's just like, <laughs> it's like, what what story are you going to tell with this, girl? What Who are you? What, what life are you trying to live? And it's like, you know what? This is just, I, I, I love it. It's just. It's just so beautiful like the part where okay there's the part with Lizzo and they're playing brown sugar and it's like it just takes you back and it's like it's all into the storytelling of it all like it takes you back it's just like brown sugar it's just like you're just like oh it's like oh and then like I said so it gets my jam he loves me like it gets the Jill Scott and it's just like it's just like it's special it's just like oh my god I know it makes no sense but it's like I just feel like I'm being thrown back and I'm just in a whole mood it's a mood it's a mood okay so I'm gonna skip a part some parts because those parts weren't really made for me I didn't care for them it then gets to this part like I said there's some heart there's some like pop 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 and then it gets real soft it gets to this part where they sing you know my favorite artist music artist all time is Frank Ocean they play self-control and it's like girl it's like i'm triggered i'm triggered am i gonna cry no but then you see like it's so soft so serene there's this one dancer and i'm really sad that i don't know his name i couldn't see his, his name was not on the screen but he has blonde hair he's the blonde hair black guy who starts off the choreography in self-control and it's like i used to dance in the past i never danced like him but it's like i i feel like i know people who could and it's like it just touched me to see him dance like that, like move his body, like so, it's so, it's so liquid, so fluid, it's just so fluid, so liquid, and just like, it's, and then playing self control, and it's like, it touched my heart, it's like, ah, 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 no, you gotta leave, 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 it's like, all the, ooh, 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 ooh. it's like, I can never, all the flips, all everything, it was just beautiful, I'm not crying, it's just my eyes are just a little watery, no, like, for real, for real. And then the lingerie for that scene was like the colors, the plants, everything was just so beautiful. Like the petals on the eyes, everybody, like, oh my goodness, it was just so gorgeous. And it's like, that, that was my favorite look. Point blank period. That was my favorite look, the whole thing, of the whole show. Favorite scene, favorite look, favorite song. I don't know my favorite song yet, but you know, Frank Ocean is my dude. Once again, fast forward, we're like at the end of the show basically. And now like we're not in that soft stuff no more. It gets to like Spanish dance music and it's just like palo, palo, palo. I'm like, oh my god, this is I'm not gonna lie, this is bumping. And then you see people just they they're not getting crump, but they like low-key getting crump. And I'm just like, oh, ooh, 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 and I'm feeling it. And then it's like then we start seeing some drag queens. It's like, oh, okay, yes, jazz walk slashing, you know. All the tea, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Rico comes on, and it's like, I just peeped this. Girls wearing boxers, and I'm like, thank you. It's like, I know. It's like, okay, we're trying to include this for men. It's like, okay, that's completely fine. We know I'm, you know I'm gonna wear the boxes. I'm gonna wear the boxes. If it's comfortable, I'm gonna wear them. Just my buying. That's it on that. So yeah, it's just like, ah. Uh, I just look for all the lights, all the dance moves. Like they were like this, they were like this. Like, bottle, 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 bottle. I was like, I felt that 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 move hit, got me. I almost forgot. They end the show with Travis Scott and Young Thug singing "Franchise." And I was like, I don't go crazy for it, but it's like somebody gonna go crazy for it. It's just like I feel like it was. This was a whole show, concert, fashion show, storytelling put in one, and I lived for it. And I loved it. Um, I'm hoping for volume three. I feel like every year, well, it's only been two years, but like it's only been two shows, but it's always better. It was better than the last one. I'll say that. That's it for now, guys. That's all my commentary on the Savage X Fancy Volume 2 fashion show. That so Savage X Fancy Volume 2 show. Let me not say fashion show because I don't know if it's actually considered a fashion show. But yeah. Um, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to like and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.